Hey everyone, DeVoe here. I thought I would take a second to talk about this remarkable deck of cards. Now what you're looking at right here is some of the original artwork. This was all hand done, hand inked by amazing comic book artist, J. Peter Onitz. This took a quite a long time to do. All of the illusions that are in the comic book were created by myself and Marius Jr. with help from Enrico de la Vega, James Clark, and I created all of these in 3D for my artist. And then he used his artistic interpretations and created what you see here. The weapons were also created in 3D. Uh, there was a whole lot of work that went into this artwork. Now let me show you the faces really quick. Now you can see that this looks very much like a normal deck because it is, with the exception of the custom blades faces as you can see. And of course we have the custom Ace of Spades and Jokers from character sketches from the actual comic. Now this is about all that becomes ordinary about this deck. All right, so we engineered this deck. Spent a lot of time with the artist, United States Playing Card Company, making this easy for you to lay out. So if you turn it over to where the main character is here, and you open and take the deck out, just like this, the instruction card is on top. This instruction card will tell you everything you need to know about laying out the deck. Also, on the side, it has the order of the cards in case you get them mixed up. Now, some people are just gonna wanna shuffle these and throw them on the table and then use it as a puzzle deck, which would be fun too. Uh, but we wanted this to be able to be easy to lay out right when you get it. So the first thing an instruction card tells you is to lay this down to your right. And then it's gonna instruct you to lay down seven cards. So I laid down seven, and it will tell you to lay down another seven. Okay, so you see I've just laid out the opening scene of the comic. Again, all you do is you lay seven cards, and then seven more, seven more, until the entire comic is completed. Very easy to do. After you complete the first two rows of seven, that completes an entire scene. You read it from left to right. Now you can either scoop these up and put them aside, or you can continue laying all of the cards until you get this big, beautiful comic book poster, which is the way I like to do it. All right, so I'm gonna now lay another seven cards. Again, every two groups of seven is another panel, so you read the second panel from left to right, just like the first one. Now, as you can see, it's not one card per panel. This was very carefully laid out to have a certain flow. In some of these pictures, more important parts of the comic are larger with more detail, such as this takes six cards. So as you see, this is creating this really beautiful picture and story as you lay them down. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the next group of seven. This is a very cool panel. It's got three cards, uh, uses three cards to create the picture. But now you start to see the whole story and everything coming together. I'm gonna to go ahead and lay out the final cards. Now you see there's a card missing and the instruction card even tells you, turn the card over to complete the comic. And that goes right into that spot. So there you go. This is the first issue of Magicians Must Die. In a world full of evil magicians, a young card master will bring them to justice. Introducing the world's first comic book series printed on a deck of playing cards. Magicians must die.